zero to geek. Learning better is better. Hello, bats. Bats? <laughs> I'm kidding, just trying to keep them entertained. So today we're going to be learning about, um, well, we're going to rehearse our head tag, which we learned in our uh, HTML course. What could you tell them, Mama, about the head tag? It's the background. It's um, it's the external. You don't see it exactly on, on the screen, but you need it. Yeah. Well, and, and just to make sure that you guys get what it is, because that sounded a bit... Um, complicated even for me to understand it's basically the things that aren't part of your html page itself that are needed such as your title of the page that you'll see from externally on google or other information that we didn't cover yet and we will in future videos so not to clutter things up all it really is is everything that doesn't get into the page goes there the background yeah yeah but they might not know what a background is okay yeah all right so let's do it all right, you you keep them occupied as I go to the keyboard here. So let, let's make the key let, make this nice and big because we don't really have that much code in here. Good, now I don't have to squint. Beautiful. All right, so let's do this. So we put create the head, and then we close the head like we've learned that we open and close. Right. Done. All right, so we just finished our second video on rehearsal. So now you know how to work with the head tag. Well, you're almost an HTML developer already. Right? Almost, almost. A few more tags left few lessons ahead i'll learn what you put in the head uh-huh don't get ahead of yourself <laughs> <laughs> all right see you in our next video please subscribe to us we love you so much please subscribe to us you'll find the subscribe button on the top left corner